For half a millennium, humanity has lived among the stars in darkness. Humans reached the stars long ago, building a republic of high technology and universal emancipation. Then they fought over it, squandered it, and finally lost it. Now a new dark age has descended upon humanity, for the greatest of civilizations has fallen, leaving ignorance and fear scattered among the ruins of many worlds. Even the stars are dying. Then from the ashes of our ruin, Vladimir halted our decline. Proclaimed emperor by popular decree, he united the known worlds of human space under his cunning and charismatic rule. Vladimir created the Great Charter, declaring how the powers of rulership would be divided and how his successors would be elected. Five scepters for Mother Church, protector of our souls. Five for the Merchant League, heralds of our past. And five for the noble houses, holders of our future. But each of these powers wished to rule it in their own way, and schemed to gain complete power at any price. Vladimir's military might convinced the noble houses to concede his rule, for they could not stand in battle before this master tactician. The Merchant League, last remnants of the Second Republic, made little pretense of their disdain for the charter of Vladimir, but they accepted his rule nonetheless. Fearful of his popularity among the people, the Patriarch of the Universal Church accepted Vladimir's rule on the condition that the church present him the crown, thus ensuring their ritual role in approving all his successors. Vladimir's coronation as the first emperor of the known worlds took place on Byzantium Secundus, which had been declared the imperial throne world. In the year 4550 AD, Vladimir crowned himself with his own hands and died. An agonizing death at the hand of unknown powers. With Vladimir's death, his great union fell apart. Noble house turned on noble house igniting a war for the spoils of Vladimir's empire. The commonwealth of humanity was shattered, overcome by iron-fisted feudal lords. As the suns fade, so dies humanity's hope.